Hello YouTubers, my name is Nathan and yes, I can see you guys all through my fancy dampy lens here. I can see that some are cooking, some are playing outside, some are just watching a crazy YouTuber such as myself playing with cool robots. So let's get right into it. This is the Roomba i7. We got some grains here and we're going to see how well it can do with spot clean. And stay towards the end because I got a cool trick that will make the i7 do a lot better. So here are the reasons why I like the i7 so much. It's a very reliable cleaner. You tell it to go out to a room and clean. It gets the job done. Despite the navigation not being the best for its price range, I think it's good enough because it can go out, clean the room you asked it to, and then go back to its charger. So I really like the i7 because the app integration is top notch. It's a real simple pairing process. The app itself is very clean, simple to use. There's a great customer service behind it. And also you can shop for additional robots and accessories. So let's have a look at the spot cleaning feature. You may notice that the side brush spins way too quickly, causing all the debris to get spread around. There's very little debris getting actually sucked inside the extractors. So hopefully iRobot's listening and they can provide an update to slow down the side spinning brush if it's possible. I think if the side brush was slowing down at least 20%, it will allow more debris to get into the extractors. So what do you guys think of the i7 Roomba S9? Do you guys like the side cleaning performance? Do you guys like the robot in general? Let me know in the comments below or if there's another favorite robot you like, go ahead and comment and we can discuss about it. Okay, let's talk about the Roborock real quick. So the Roborock has a side sensor, which the Roomba does not. So what that means is once the Roborock determines that it's up against a wall, it will actually increase the speed of its side brush, which is great because it can deep clean the edges. And then once it's away from the wall, the side brush actually slows down to allow it to collect dirt into its extractors. Despite the Roomba not having this sensor, I'm pretty sure iRobot software engineers can determine when the Roomba is away from the wall and when it's up against the wall and change the speed accordingly. Why Roomba, just why won't you spot me? Oh. Oh. Okay, let's go ahead and check the dust bins on this guy. Keep in mind that the i7 did the spot clean and the Roomba S9 was the one that kind of cleaned up after the i7 where the side brush kind of scattered all the debris around. So we'll actually, let's start with the i7 here. Give you guys a nice close up of all the stuffs. So it looks like it did a fairly good job picking up the majority of the material. And let's go ahead and see how much the S9 picked up after the i7. Nope, I just spilled a bunch on the floor. I apologize. No, now I'm spilling more on the floor. Okay, let's see. So just a little bit. Keep in mind I did spill a bunch on the floor. Okay, you guys still here? Or did you guys click off and go see Vacuum Wars channel? I know who you guys are, so hold on one second. Let's go ahead and show you this new improvement so your spot team can be A-OK. -okay. We'll just go ahead and remove this side brush. Now that we don't have a side brush that will spread all the debris around, let's see if the i7 can do better. So if you like these types of videos, please smash the like button. Also, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be providing you guys weekly, sometimes daily updates on these guys. We we'll go over extreme testing, unboxings, overviews, teardowns, you name it. And I also respond back to you guys promptly. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns about these Roombas, Roborocks, D-Bots, any type of robot vacuum, I will be sure to get back to you promptly. 
Lastly, if this video isn't for you, I also created a playlist which goes into different categories of testing and types of videos. So I also do bunny videos, I do extreme testing. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and you guys be safe out there. And let me know in the comments if you like this new little trick, how did the Roomba i7 do on its spot clean.